today. Uh, this is the real ACC, real one, uh, 220, quad frame. And it comes in this box, nice little box. Uh, and this is my frame, this is the frame and this is the build. This is the stack. I'm going to get into some of the detail of uh, uh, how we put this together. Okay. Um, I'll have all the parts listed and everything, um, and the reasoning behind certain things, uh, like the VTX mount, the way it's mounted, and stuff like that for expense issues. Let's save a few bucks. The way, you know, the pad for the battery. Um, yeah, it's just one of those ad hoc things, but um, this does use an all in one basic setup, uh, four in one electronic speed controller. A lot of people are eh, about that, uh, but yeah, that's it's it's uh. That's actually quite good. Um, but moving on to uh, other specifics. Um, the reasoning behind this video is uh, I'd, I'd like to give, you know, my two cents on um, why, you know, this drone, this frame is pretty good. I mean, it's, it's really pretty good. Uh, is it a clone uh, of the other well-known frame out there um, made by Carrera. Um, I would I would say no. Um, I would say it's really, 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 really close, but they have changed some things, uh, especially Kiera has uh, produced a, a much better quality um, frame kit. Uh, I'm sorry to really CC, but it's true. Um, it is you know, what I've seen and everything like that. I did have one, but since I've used it all the time, obviously it, it uh, met its match and found a uh, telephone pole, and yeah, um, I don't even want to show you what it looks like in pieces, but anyway, when you hit a telephone pole over 100 miles an hour, trust me, it's, yeah, it's, it's unsavable. Anyway, so none of those parts from that actually made it into this build, but this build is actually the cheapest build that you can actually that you would actually want to do with this particular frame setup and everything like that um, so we're gonna get into it um, a little bit more so um, just to give you a run around let's uh, take a look at it again just to, you know I'll just uh, give you a little shot here and then we'll go over the specs some of the things yeah obviously you wouldn't do with your build and I'm sure you know what they are but um, it does it does uh, support the mini run cam if you can see it's perfect perfect for it it sits perfectly and when you anchor it in there I, I do believe it has a good degree of uh, camera tilt you know for uh, just flying around basically flying around um, acrobatic style uh, and you can change that obviously so you know. um, the way my antennas are set up stuff like that the reason why is kind of like more of a diversity so you have a front antenna and you can see I have the antenna down here you have a rear antenna so you can pretty much capsulate all that this right here little problem yeah kind of one of those solution things that I want to actually uh, I'm going to create a solution for that using a, a more expensive VTX you now that runs a, a diode uh, cable instead of this uh, you're just going to run a small pin out to a RSSMA or SMA you know, and then I'm going to mount it down towards the bottom, so the antenna comes out towards the bottom. And it's probably going to be a smaller bar than that, uh, but still, Omways are good, you know, and then your pagodas. But yeah. Anyway, so moving on, uh, let's get into the specs. So first off, with this build, uh, there are things you'll need. Uh, one of the things that you know, I, I I say to everybody, I say, hey, you know what? You know, we're dealing with. Uh, a lot of a lot of issues here um, what I'd like to uh, show you is it's with any quadcopter uh, but I'd like to show you this carbon fiber aluminum that's not it not kosher they don't play good together trust me any steel in aluminum it doesn't play good together if you have a screw one screw on any frame is what it is and you're having uh, VTX issues you think you're having 
you know, frame drops, this and that, blah, blah, blah. It could be as simple as this. Okay, the cap on this wiggling. It could be as simple. So everything gives off a frequency. Okay, the motor spinning, everything. So if we use this, people, okay, this is what you, this is it. Okay, this is your, this is your, this is your God. Oh, this is it. Silicone, people, okay? Use it. Trust me, use it. Use it. Put it between everything, you know, like Frank's Red Hot Sauce, man. I put that shit on everything, okay? Put that on everything. There's nothing to lose. You ain't going to hurt anything. But what you are going to do is you're going to create a gasket. You're going to create a gasket on your motors, okay? You're going to create a gasket in between your parts, okay? Even use it on your damn stack, okay? When you're, you're saying, oh, I want to soft mount this. I want to, yeah, use it. In, yeah, use it, okay? Look at it. I got it on my wires, okay? I'm not using hot glue. I'm using silicone. I got my silicone. I got my silicone. Silicone, okay? It works. Trust me. And the best part about it is, is you can pull it apart. You can take it off. You can throw it away. It doesn't have to exist there forever, okay? So that's getting out of that. Getting Let's get out of that there. So, and like all X-Frames... What other issue that we have with frequency, with errors between the motors, and electronic speed controller, and a flight controller? We have a tuning fork issue, okay? If you take this frame, when you build this frame and you have nothing on it, I want you to, I want you to set this frame up so that you're not touching it and then hit one of these arms. And listen. Listen to its vibration, how it rings. It, it carries a tone. It sustains the tone for a very long period of time. That is not kosher with anything to deal with with a flight controller or a gyro. Absolutely not. So we want to kill that, okay? We do that with tape. We even taping our, our wires down. We do that with the silicone, okay? And and we do that with this piece of foam here. That is huge. Now, it doesn't matter how thick that foam is or what you do, but you don't want to put the battery right to the metal. You, you just don't want to do that. You want to cut a nice piece of foam and everything, blah, blah, sit it in there, that's fine. But underneath here, too, if I, if I take that off of there, and I might show you that later. If I take that off, you'll see that I silicone the crap out of the inside of that between all these points when I put it together. That's because it created a perfect gasket seal. And you'll notice this when I fly this, okay, when I fly any of my quads, how quiet they fly. You'll notice extreme, extremely high. And that's not a, that's not a depreciation in, in, in power whatsoever, okay. That's just because... I'm using silicone. I'm making gaskets. I'm trying to create a perfect situation between the flight controller, the electronic speed controller, and the motors. And that's it. So getting into it. Real one ACC frame. Okay, from Banggood. Uh, 220 in between $59 to $65. Okay, this is what you get. Um, I look at the top of this as a as a, a, a very scary situation obviously if you hit something it just doesn't look good so i haven't I, I, like i said before i with the kiera i hit a telephone pole that was dead on it it didn't it didn't live through anything it's 100 miles an hour so i didn't expect it anyway to live through that so um what i'm running here i'm running uh, 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 uh my own stack my own build and uh, let's get into that a little bit more detail. So, let's see. so our board right here, USB port. All right, that is our flight controller. That's the NAS32 F3 flight controller. Okay. So quick and simple. It's a it's a pretty stable, very stable uh, flight controller board. Upgraded to the newest Betaflight. Does not have the OSD onboard. Um, so, it just has just, just basically straight up capabilities to be able to be upgraded to better flight, the newest better flight firmware. Our uh, PDB is uh, the Matex Systems PDB. It's uh, the standard PD, uh, PDB. It's the VT60, uh, and then uh, we have the, the electronic speed controller. Alright, that's the uh, RS20 amp, that's uh, Racer Star, so that's the uh, forward one, and then uh, we have it on a built stack, that's a silicone gasket, 
Uh, we also, at the top, uh, you can't see it, but uh, I actually have an onboard micro uh, fly sky, not a fry sky, but a fly sky receiver. Okay. And basically, that's my stack. Uh, this stack is basically the, the least expensive stack that you could actually make. It's well, it's about $85 or 70, $78 or something like that total for the entire stack. Uh, the VTX is the Yi uh, VT or VX or TX 8801. This goes, you know, from the 01 up to the uh, 600 uh, megawatts. Uh, good VTX. Uh, careful running it at 600 megawatts, though, because it gets pretty damn hot. All right. So, and, uh, basically, and then we're, uh, of course, running the Runcam Micro or Mini there. So, and that, that does have OSD on board for its camera, camera setup and everything, all feature functions there readily available. Um, you could do an external switch or internal switch, depending on what type of uh, goggles you have, because you could use the Sky Zone goggles and actually be able to control that. Um, yeah, so that's our basic build. That's our basic setup. Uh, we're running the RunStar uh, for motors. So, RunStar BR2205s, they're 2300. Uh, KV uh, I'm coming at about uh, 30 bucks and of course I'm running on top of here uh, you can run the cyclones or in this case I'm running just cheap King Kongs um, they work just as good just as well they do break easily um, I've noticed a fair amount of bending though the bending on crashes and stuff um, they are pretty flexible but in a good crash they will break um, they'll break off easy save your motors um, Never had a motor problem with these, just race, just basically crashing into things, crashing on the ground, grass, stuff like that. Never had a problem with them ever messing with my bells, my motors, um, in any in any shape or form. So, um, very strong motors, very strong magnets, as you can see. Very good, very good quality for what you got, you know. Um, so that's the basis of my build, uh, how, how you put it together. It's also running, a, since it's Fly Sky. I'm also running PPM, um, so uh, very easy to do. Um, I can have some instructions on that, but there's tons of instructions out there on the web um, on how to do that. Of course, I ran my connector, you know, strong arm, just like that. Yeah, this, you know, will, you know, would break off in a good crash or something like that if you if you can get to it and crash it. But trust me, I, a tree a tree branch something like that will definitely kill that. Um, but the great thing about this board is, is when it does break off, usually those positive, there's a positive and negative terminal behind there, and you can just re-solder those back on there and then solder out two 14 gauge wires, and, you know, that's what you should do anyway, you should probably run like 15, 16, maybe 18 gauge wires, and then run this as a flop, so it flops around tab, you know, so you don't really, so you have some give to that, but, you know, as we all do, we just want to throw the stuff together and get it out there and fly it around. So, you know. That being said, um, any other questions, any other comments, you know, I'll, I'll try to keep up. Uh, you know, if people are going to ask questions, that's fine. Um, you know, how did I build it? How did I put the stack together? Stuff like that. Um, I would I would love to do a uh, uh, Kiera uh, versus this drone build. Uh, I would do a full rundown, and I'd probably change up the stack um, to the... Uh, all-in-one, actually, full Emax build, um, adding the benefits and the power of that along with the run cam. And probably hop it up to maybe a 5 or a 6 cell with a 35 amp 4-in-1 um, um, so we can actually see, you know, what happens and, you know, um, if you can actually uh, catch one on fire. So with that said, uh, we're going to go and take this for a test fly and hopefully show you its capabilities out in the field. All right, right on.